Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome to episode one of RB Plays, the Create Mod. That's right, folks, we're back in a new world. We're finally starting something new here on the channel, uh, and it's something that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. I am going to give every attempt that I can to conquering the Create Mod. Create is a cool, cool mod that allows you to create very weird and frankly, awesome equipment, machinery and stuff and do all the cool things in your world uh, using uh, gears and mechanisms and belt drives and and just wind power and all kinds of cool water power and grindstones. And it's just a very, very cool mod and you can use it to to do all of the cool things and uh, and it should be fun. So if this is your first time here, Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. Uh, and uh, so what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna kind of get started with the create mod. I just spawned in this world and it looks like we've got, you know, some decent terrain to deal with, some decent terrain to work with. We've got uh, we got a fair number of trees, we've got water, we've got a little bit of sand close by. We do have some, uh, some sugar cane and stuff, so that'll be cool. Uh, as a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do with this sugar cane is I'm going to go ahead and plant it a little bit and get more sugar cane growing because that seems to be uh, a very cool uh, little piece of little piece of equipment that we're gonna need at some point, I'm sure of it. So, oh, I've got auto jump on, don't I? I do not want auto jump on, we'll have to fix that. But uh, anyway, let's get all of this planted. That's cool. Uh, and then uh, we're going to have to punch some trees. I think I would like to punch all of the birch trees. Oh, you know what I don't have in here? So the mods that I have, I have two mods. Hello? Do I get... Do I... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, so the mods that I have, I have the create mod and I also have um, uh, storage drawers. So we're going to use storage drawers and create mod to do some very cool things. I don't even have uh, fast leaf decay in here, which I think... You guys will have to let me know if you think that that's something that we that we can get away with in here because, uh, yeah, waiting waiting for saplings to leaves to despawn and fa and saplings to come along that's not my idea of a good time. Uh, but I do I do like to use birch uh, for my floors and stuff, so I'm gonna break as much of this birch as I can. Um, and we're need and we need to get into we need to get into the create mod and and see if we can find what we can make first uh, in our, in our efforts to uh, to conquer this mod and, and do all the cool things. I would like to find a sheep at some point uh, because, well, just because. So we're gonna need that. We're gonna need a crafting bench like a so. Uh, and oh, we do not have, uh, we don't have the crafting uh, stations in here. So that's unfortunate. So we need one of those. We need one of those. We need a couple of sticks. Uh, we're also going to need a couple more of those, right, like that. We're going to need a pickaxe, and uh, and then along with the pickaxe, we're going to uh, need to go get some stone um, over over there. I see coal. I see stone. Ooh, we had a little lag spike there. Why do we have a little lag spike? That's not cool. That's not kosher. Shouldn't have that. Uh, anyway, let's gather up some stone. Cool. Gathering up the stone, yo. gather up some materials and uh and so if we go into jei right what do we have so we have nine pages of stuff uh if we do at create so at create we can do all of the cool things is there a create book i don't remember if there's a create book i do know that the one of the first things that we need to have in create is uh is a wrench uh is it a wrench yeah it's this thing so to make the wrench from create we got to have some gold sheets how would you get how do we get gold sheets oh we need pressers Ooh, can we do can we do pressers without like how do you make a presser? Okay, so it looks like we got to get uh, looks like we got to get like a windmill or something like that first and foremost. Uh, wind, yeah. So there's windows. There's windmill bearings. Windmill bearings just need uh, a turntable. It needs some granite and it needs some andesite for shafts. Uh huh. Looks like we're gonna have to go on a mining spree, yo. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, mine out as many things as I can, uh, get ourselves some stone. I'm also gonna turn that off because that is annoying. I hate auto jump controls, auto jump off. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Uh, we need to see if we can find a sheep so we can make a bed because you guys know that I do not like to wander around in the world after dark, if I don't have to, I do see some saplings. We are going to get those because saplings, yes, please. 
saplings. Uh, any more saplings? Doesn't appear to be any more saplings. No more saplings. Yeah, these aren't going to despawn because, well, they can't. But anyway, uh, looks like we got some of that. We can get one of these now. We can do one, two, three of those and get one of those. We can also do some of these and get ourselves uh, a little bit, a little bit better of a weapon, right? So now we got an axe. We also have a stone pick. Yay! Cool. That's cool. That makes me uh, that makes me happy. So what I need to do next, I guess, is uh, is we. It looks like we're gonna need to generate some kind of wind power. So let me go and do some mining. I gotta find some andesite. I gotta find some. Gotta tear down some trees and stuff. So let me go and do some mining and get some wood. And we'll come back in just a few minutes and uh, and we'll talk about what we want to see if we can accomplish in this uh, in this playthrough. So hang tight for just a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is fun times. I'm just wandering around the world a little bit. I've done a little bit of mining and uh, wandering around the world a little bit and I see that we have a uh, not so sunken sunken ship. So I wanna go and explore this real quick with you guys. And also we've got packed ice like right there. Base is right there. We got packed ice right there. Everything is freaking close by. Uh, but I want to go down here real quick and see what's in this chest. Yeah. So we got a compass, nice, some feathers, and a buried treasure map. Nice. Uh, but I need to uh, see what else we've got. Do we have anything else? Uh, I don't think we have anything else. We may not have anything else. Oh, there might be something in here. Yes, there. Yes, there could be. Ah, yes, there it is. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's awesome. We got lots of cool stuff. Anyway, I want to show you what else I've done at the base. Uh, man, got lots of stuff to get. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's get back over here to our base because I have a place that we can sleep. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. I have a place that we can sleep over here. Uh, that looks like a zombie. Yes, it is. Hi, zombie. Cool. Done. Anyway, over here. Uh oh. Uh, where is it? Oh crap. I don't know where I'm at. Uh, maybe it's over here? Might be over here. Yeah. I'm a little lost. I don't have a map. I usually have a map. I don't have a map. Yeah, it's over here. Uh, over here and then over here. Yeah, over there. I see torches. I see torches. Cool. Anyway, over here, uh, we have our we have our base. This is going to be our starter base. And uh, we're going to do all the cool things out of this starter base, right? Uh, but in here, I got myself a little door. Close that up and let the... Let the mobs not get into me. I got some furnaces. I got some chests. Inside the chests, I found a few things. We'll put our richities in this box, including our emeralds and our iron nuggets and our ink sacks and stuff. Uh, in here, we've got uh, basic stuff like ores and stuff. Uh, and then in here, we're just we can do some basic smelting. So I was digging down and I found iron, but I also found uh, I haven't made it all the way down to uh, mining level right here. I found zinc. Uh, but I can't mine zinc, and I'm hoping that I can mine the zinc with iron. So we're going to smelt up some iron. We're going to make an iron pickaxe. We're going to see if we can break that stuff. And then we're going to see what we can do to get into uh, some actual... Um, oh, we got fish too. Uh, we're going to see what we can get into to get into some actual um, uh, create stuff. I want to see if I can make like a water mill. Uh, but in order to make the water mill, do we need the bearing uh, water... That's not how you spell water. Water mill. So the water mill needs all of this. It needs planks. It needs uh, a cogwheel. The cogwheel just takes some buttons and some andesite uh, alloys, which is uh, which is easy enough to make. That's why uh, I'm super excited about you know all of this stuff that I have in here. Uh, but we need one more piece of iron. Yes, please. That's three. So now we should be able to make. Uh, now we should be able to make a pickaxe. And if we can get the pickaxe. That should allow us to mine zinc, I think. I just broke my cobblestone pickaxe, just trying to dig down here some more, but does that gives us that? Yeah, it does. Sweet. So what can we make when we have zinc? Now that we have zinc, we have a lot of zinc too. Nice. And copper, is that copper? That's copper. Nice. So we have copper too, yay. I didn't know copper was a part of this pack, or not pack, but mod. Because I'm not actually playing a mod pack. I'm just playing create mod, so that's cool. We got nice copper now. That's awesome. Copper's not part of 116. It's part of 117, but it's not part of 116. It's about time, too, by the way. It's about time that copper is coming to vanilla Minecraft because 
Um, I think that's been a long time in the making. There's so many things that you can do uh, design wise and so forth with copper that it just it never made sense to me that copper wasn't uh, wasn't something that we had access to in in vanilla game. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep, make it daytime. We'll check on the stuff that we've got up here. We also need to worry about uh, smelting this stuff up, but really, truly, I can't really concentrate on that too much just yet because um, I don't I don't have a way to double my ores. But if we get to a grindstone, then uh, then of course we would have that. So. First things first, we want to make this water wheel. So a water wheel requires some some slabs. That's easy enough. I got plenty of wood, but it also requires uh, buttons and some andesite alloys. So andesite alloy is andesite plus iron nuggets. So we've got plenty of andesite. We also have some andesite or in, uh, iron ingots, iron nuggets. I mean, so let's do that. Let's grab those. Let's get some of these made. We can make four of them. I don't know how many we're going to need. We're going to need a bunch of them, but we'll make four for now. So we can make one of these. We just need some buttons. Uh, so let's get some, get some more of that. And we'll do some of these. One, two, three, four buttons. And then we should be able to make a, uh, a cog wheel. Yeah, we can make two of those. Nice. And then uh, we should be able to make, uh, oh, we need to make slabs. So zoop and zoop. That should be enough. So that will give us cog wheels or water wheels. Nice. So now that we got a water wheel, now we got to have a way that we can make this thing turn. Uh, the water wheel, as I know, as I see it, we should be able to set this up in such a way that we should be able to utilize this water out here to our advantage. Um, if I were to make, mm, what do I have? I have wood. I can use wood probably. Oh, give me those back. I kind of want those. Uh, but if I put this, say, right over here, I do something, oh, apparently that can't live next to that. I do something like that, check my recipes, and then do that. Yeah, see, we can put the water wheel like that, and then as long as there's water moving past it, then it should uh, it should create force. It should create torque. Um, to, to connect to this, let's see, uh, hold W to ponder. Ah, okay, so we just need some shafts, and then we need... Oh, nifty. This thing is cool. It shows us all the cool stuff. Water wheel blades should be oriented against the flow. Okay, we got that. Other way, it will not be as effective. This is neat. I'll tell you what, the, the animations for this are super cool. And then it has to be connected up to a gearbox of some kind uh, so that it can, so that we can generate power. Okay, so let's see if we can create some of that stuff. We're going to need some shafts. So shaft, uh, I think they're called shafts anyway. Yeah, they're called shafts. And then we just need a, a gear box, right? So we just need some of these. Cool. And then uh, and then a gear box, right? Or or what is that thing? What is what is that thing? Uh, yeah, cog wheel. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. So we can use little cog wheels, big cog wheels. Okay, all right. So what do we need to connect that up to? So the, what is that block that it was showing that looked like it had some kind of uh, display on it? Is that actually a thing or is that just something that shows up in the tutorial? I don't think it actually is a thing. I've been doing create a little bit in the Enigmatica 6 series that I was working on, uh, but I hadn't really played with it outside of that. So I think all we need really is a uh, an encased shaft, uh, I think what we need is actually a gearbox, yeah? There's a vertical gearbox. That's a regular gearbox. So we just need some of these small cogwheels, andesite casings. Need some of those. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, oh, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can't do that. Need some iron. Need some iron. Okay, that's a dying squid. There we go. So andesite casings. Nope. Andesite alloy, that's it. Uh, sure, one of those will be fine. 
And then grindstones. Like, it would be cool if we could just automatically get the double in our stuff right now, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, we want to get we want to make a gearbox, so that is going to be just this one like this. Uh, we need to make some of these, which is that like that. So we need more buttons. We're gonna need a lot of buttons. Cool. Let's make a gear. We'll make that. Oh, we need six of them. Cool. We need eight of them. I bet we can make it now. Ah. There we go. So now we got some of those, and now we should be able to make one of these andesite casings. We just need another piece of andesite alloy and some more wood planks. That's easy enough. Uh, I don't think I need logs. We'll just turn all of that into wood, and then some of these. So one, two, one, two. That should be enough. Nice. And then one of these. So that. Oh, I do need a log. Dang it. I need an actual log. I don't think I need a log. I need an actual log. Nice. Uh, and then we need to get the water flowing on this thing, uh, which means it needs to flow that way. Oh, okay. Uh, that's fine. Mm. I have a birch tree over here someplace that I can cut down. I've been trying not to cut down the oak trees yet. Not that it makes a difference, but just, aha, there's one. Found one. It would be neat to see if we can do something to, 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 to double our ores, some kind of grindstone or whatever. And then we'll have to see if we can automate it. I don't know if we can automate it this early in the game. Oh. Free, uh, free ink sack. Okay. Now then. So now we got one of these. We can make one of these. We just need one of those. And go. Nice. Cool. So now we can make a gearbox. Cool. And then uh, grindstone? What about a grindstone? I don't think we can make a grind. It's not a grindstone. It's a crushing wheel. That's it. Crushing wheels. Ooh, now we can't make those yet because those require the big mechanical crafting thing. What can I use? Can I use at create? There's another one. I think that's there's another one I thought that we could get access to kind of early. There's the mechanical saw. Uh, let me take a look here for just a minute. I'll come right back to you. Okay, so we can't make a grindstone this time because, or not a grindstone, but a, a crushing stone this time because we don't have the stuff that we need for that just yet. We need a, a, a big old mechanical uh, assembly thing, which I'm not quite ready to do that yet, but we can make what's called the crushing wheel. And the crushing wheel, while it doesn't do ores, it will help us in other endeavors like making food and such. So we're gonna have to get a food farm set up. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and plant some uh, vanilla wheat so that we can so that we can make bread. But uh, as far as I remember, bread is bread still the same recipe or did it get changed with create? No, we can still create bread with uh, with that, but you can also get uh, what is it? Wheat uh, from here. Uh, is that right in the crushing wheel? Yeah, you can get uh, wheat flour and then wheat flour can be used uh, to create dough and dough can be used to create slime. So that's something that we're going to need anyway. So using the crushing wheel is going to be kind of an important thing for us. So here's what we're going to have to do. Crushing wheel, not crushing wheel. Uh, we want the uh, grind. Nope. Uh, crap. What is it called? At uh, create. This guy right here, ah, the millstone. It's called the millstone. So we need a couple of pieces of an, uh, andesite, andesite, andesite alloy. We need a cog, uh, and we need some wood and a piece of diorite or something similar. So let's get uh, let's get all of that. I think we have all of that, as a matter of fact. So we should have everything we need for this guy. Yeah. So we got the millstone. Cool. And then we need a bucket because we're going to have to get some water. So let's get a bucket. And, uh, and then let's go upstairs and see if we can make this thing do what we want to do. So here's what we got to have. We got to have water flowing across, uh, flowing across this guy. So I think if we put a piece of wood there, and then we put a water bucket here, right? 
I put a water bucket there. Yeah, look at that. We're making uh, we're making it work. We're doing the thing, right? So now we should be able to break this and break this and break this, right? And then we should be able to put a cog wheel. Uh, is it? No, it's one. Of, yeah, we'll put a large cog wheel here, like so. Uh, okay, that's fine. Come back here. I kind of want you. I kind of need you. So come back here. Your precious resources right now, just so you know. And then we should be able to do. I was looking at the way that it says to use the cog wheel. So if you go over here and you do a little hover and a W, it paints a picture for you. Ah, that's where I went wrong. That's where I went wrong. Okay, so we just need to, uh, we need to break you. Yeah, we need to break you. So we should be able to, oh no, 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 no. We need that, but we also need one more of those. So we need to do another one. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie doopsie. Let's make another another cog wheel. So we need buttons and we need some more andesite and we should be able to get that from that. And uh, andesite is one, two, one, two, and then that. So that gets us a couple of those. And then we need one, one more of these, which is going to be buttons. So one, two, three, four of those, which is awesome. And then we should be able to make one of these, yeah? Yeah. And then we should have some small cogwheels. All right, I think we're in good shape now. So we come over here, like so. I don't have any wheat that we can use yet, but that's fine. That is absolutely fine. So if I go like this, and I put this gear like this, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I should probably... Can I do something to stop this water from flowing? I think I can. There. I don't know that this... If I break that... Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, cool. So now we can uh, now we can kind of see what's going on. We can do this. Fortunately, that stuff doesn't hurt when you walk into it because if it didn't, that would be bad. Or if it did, that would be bad. Uh, I I need to be able to turn this. I need to be able to turn this. Is that right? No, I can do this this way. So I want to put this wheel right here. I think. Yeah. No. Yeah, that'll work. I think that'll work. Anyway, put that here, put this here. Yeah, look at that. So now we should be able to put stuff inside there and uh, and get it to do its thing. I don't have anything to put inside of there, though, because I haven't grown anything yet. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find uh, some wheat. But first things first, let's get ourselves a uh, let's get ourselves a, a tool that we can use, like a hoe. What are we calling a hoe? Uh, let's get ourselves a hoe. Mm. Should probably make a probably make one of these. That'll work. So we got a hoe. Ho ho ho. Uh we also have some seed. We have one. We have one seed. That's awesome. So we'll go over here and we'll make a little make a little farm. I guess we'll make a little farm right there. And we'll grow some wheat. And now we wait. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get some more get some more seeds growing. And maybe I'll even wander around a little bit, see if I can find a village. If I can find a village, that'll make this even easier. But I'll come back to you uh, in just a minute and we'll wrap this thing up. OK, looks like we got some got some wheat here. So let's go ahead and harvest that and then replant. And we got to get this got to get this this farm grown up a little bit more. But we'll, I'll work on that in between episodes. Uh, but to, but now we should be able to come over here and we should be able to take this. Uh, we should be able to take this and get it, uh, get it to a point where we can just kind of drop this in here. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. And give me, give me stuff. Maybe. Yeah. 
So we got to right click it. I uh, wonder if we put an inventory under it, if it will accept it. I don't know if it will or not. If we put a chest under there, will it automatically do the thing? I don't know. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, there is a thing here that... Is there a crate or something from Create? A crate from Create that we can put under there? Some kind of... Oh, I know what we can put under there. We can put a storage drawer under there, I'll bet. Uh, store it. Uh, storage. So, at... Storage drawers. Yeah, so we should be able to just put a drawer under there, yeah? So a regular one-by-one -one storage drawer should be able to do... Should be birch planks plus that? Sure. So give me a... Give me one of those. Put that like that. Do that like that. Do that like that. And then can I put this underneath there? I don't know if that'll work or not, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a try. Okay, and then we'll put wheat flour in there, yeah. Okay, that's working. There are two in there right now. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Darn it. Well, that's a shame. We'll have to use some kind of hopper or something. Or uh, there's a mechanical arm uh, at create. This mechanical arm thing. Oh, there's also an item. There's also a schematic hand. Uh, but the mechanical arm thing, this guy, uh, the mechanical arm will do things, but it requires uh, brass and stuff, which we don't have access to just yet. But the mechanical arm is super cool. Whoops, that's not how that works. So, yeah. So you use the mechanical arm, uh, signed in and outputs before they're placed, and then basically it will take and it'll take something from one inventory and put it into another. Uh, so we might use might use that to our advantage, but for right now, uh, we have we have a way to make dough, and uh, because we have a way to make dough, we should also have a way to make uh, slime, right? Which will come in handy for our next adventure, for our next. Uh, our next, our next thing. Uh, let's see, slime, slime balls can be made with dough and lime dye. So we just need that, right? So we give you that plus that equals that, and then lime dye comes from cactus green and white dye, which I don't have either one of those. But there is, uh, if we go that away to the west uh there is a deserty type area over there so hopefully uh hopefully we'll be able to get some green dye but that is all the time that i have for today so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button also don't forget to subscribe the likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky youtube search results the other thing that helps out a lot is comments so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it leave your tips your tricks your pointers your attaboys your what in the world were you thinking all that good stuff and we'll chat about it in kind don't forget to stop by our discord server where we talk about all things life all things gaming and most certainly all things minecraft but once again folks that is all the time we have for today thank you so much for watching and until next time we will catch you on the flip side we'll see you later bye bye